Whether our daughters are 3 or 30, mothers often face lots of challenges when it comes to parenting girls. Susan Shapiro Barash is here. She's the author of You're Grounded Forever, but first, let's go shopping. And she's here to help mothers set some limits and understand the fine line between friend and mother. Good to have you back, Susan. Good to be here. We're always talking about something interesting. Last time it was toxic friends. Now we're talking about the mother-daughter relationship, something that's never going to change. It can be a little, a little volatile at times, right? Well, I think it's actually different today. I I think that mothers are more invested with their daughters than ever before. I think that mothering is a job, even if you have a job. Right. It's not just a role. Sometimes a bigger job than your day job can be, too. And how do you know the difference between when you're spoiling your daughter and being too rigid? Well, you know, mothers second-guess themselves. I interviewed 200 women all across the country, another 100 for the questionnaire in the book, and they kept saying, we're not sure if we're hindering or helping. We give in so easily. Life is so hard for women. We remember being in fifth grade. We remember being in in ninth grade and look at the world today. Mm -hmm. It's tough too. It's very difficult. I was just talking to a woman the other day who said, you know, I, I want to be my daughter's friend, but first I'm her mother and she needs to know that I'm her mother. First I will also be her friend, but I'm not more of her friend than her mother. Does that make sense? You, it makes perfect sense. She's a wise woman because so many mothers today are almost hesitant to be authority figures, but that's what our daughters need more than ever. You know, hopefully they have lots of friends, tricky as it may be. We have lots of friends as mothers, but there's only one mother-daughter mm -hmm. role and, you know, connection, <laughs> and we need the mother to really be hierarchical. Well, in your book, you give some examples where mothers go wrong when it comes to parenting. And let's go through some of them and see how we should handle the situation differently. For starters, the material indulgence, the question that comes up, what color would you like that Prada bag in? Well, you know, it's one thing to go to the mall on Saturday as a bonding experience. It's another to be pressured because your daughter is so invested in brand labeling mm -hmm. and you feel, again, why not, you know, why not make life easier? Right, you gotta be, be very, very careful with that. You Plus have it to get make, pricey. <laughs> it, it gets pricey, and what message is that to your daughter? Well, another message, we're talking about fixations on food and weight. For example, you could be asking your daughter, do you need to eat that? What kind of a message does that send to her? You have to be so careful with your daughter. I mean, I interviewed one woman, she had an eight-year-old daughter. She was already worried about her. She bought her a food scale. Oh, you wow. have to really be very careful, and on top of it, so that eating disorders don't develop. And you also have to stay on top of lack boundaries and rules questions like you know or comments like you can drink as long as you're at home with me is that a good thing that's my chapter no yeah. because really what you're doing is not again being the authority figure and without limits your daughters really flounder they need boundaries they need rules but mothers hesitate to do that okay let's talk about uh, making excuses you'll, you'll you'll say to your daughter I'll just say that you're not feeling well when it comes to going oh. to school how harmful is that? It's harmful because your daughter then doesn't have any independence. You're always making excuses and enabling her so she can't really go to school and fail a math class, a math test rather, because she's not prepared. You know, you're, you're, if she says, I'm worried about getting to school today, I have a big test, and mm -hmm. you say, don't worry, I'll just call, you're not really helping her face what the world is like. If there was only a step-by-step -step guide to parenting, right? Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. For Congratulations on the book. Thank, Thank you, you so much. If you want to get other great tips on raising your daughter in a healthy environment, you've got to get a copy of Susan's book. It's called You're Grounded Forever, but first, let's go shopping, and it's available now.